10 years old from Semarang. I met a game called Mabesha. I just save the environment them and focus more saving the ocean. Ocean has thousand benefits for life, but day by day, the damage on it getting worse. Did you know that the biggest contributor to growing waste, which is more than 60 percent, is plastic waste? I live in a coastal city. The sea waterfront fields are often seen here. There are so many discarded, disposed of, or abandoned. Material in the marine and coastal environment. As much as 80% of the garbage in the sea, we can call it marine debris, comes from the mainland and the other 20% comes from the sea, such as the remains of the fishing activities. If this plastic waste is not controlled and managed properly, a watering process will occur into micro and nanoplastic which will damage marine and coastal ecosystem or be eaten by plankton or fish. Furthermore, fisheries productivity can decrease and the implication of micro and nanoplastic can enter the food chains which can actually cause problem for human health in the long term. This phenomena inspired me to make a game called Medusha. This is a simulation game of an AI shop robot that can help clean up the sea by sorting and collecting rubbish in the sea. This game contains 54 sprites and 15 variables. The sprites are one main sprite, it is made to shop. Consists of six costumes, collectible sprites, six sprites of organic waste, and sprites of six sprites of cardboard and paper waste, seven sprites of hazardous waste, thirteen sprites of plastic, glass, and tents or metal waste. One sprite of danger, it is normal shop consists of 38 costumes. There are 20 normal sprites such as buttons, lives, tutorial, and information screens, assistant robots, etc. Now let's play in the game. Did you know that the biggest contributor to marine waste, which is more than 60%, is plastic waste? Marine debris is defined as any persistent, manufactured or processed solid material discarded, disposed of or abandoned, in the marine and coastal environment. These materials have been manufactured, modified or used by people, with plastics generally constituting the most common items of marine debris. As much as 80% of the garbage in the sea comes from the mainland, and the other 20% comes from the sea, such as the remains of fishing activities. There are types of marine debris. 1. Plastic waste. 2. Metal. 3. Glass. 4. Wood. Organic. 5. Paper, cardboard. 6. Rubber. 7. Textiles or fabrics. Which has the following sizes. 1. Mega debris, more than 1 meter. 2. Macro debris, 2.5 to 100 centimeters. 3. Meso debris, 0.5 to 2.5 centimeters. 4. Micro debris, 0.1 micrometers to 5 millimeters. 5. Nano debris, less than 0.1 micrometers. Recent reviews have found that marine debris is pervasive and has been documented in marine habitats, organisms, and ecosystems. In general, marine debris impacts the economic and tourism sectors. It also disrupts the life of marine biota and coastal ecosystems. Many biota eat plastic, ingestion, and become entangled in plastic. Entangled. The United Nations Ocean Conference in New York in 2017 said that plastic waste in the oceans kills 1 million seabirds, 100,000 marine mammals, sea turtles, and large numbers of fish each year. If this plastic waste is not controlled and managed properly, a weathering process will occur into micro and nanoplastics, which will damage marine and coastal ecosystems, and will be eaten by plankton or fish. Furthermore, fisheries productivity can decrease and the implications of making plastics can enter the food chain, which can eventually cause problems for human health in the long term.
game, Modest Shark, Marine Debris Sorter Robot developed by Valga Amadeo from Indonesia, Code Devil 2022. This is a simulation game of AI shark robot that can help clean up the sea by sorting and collecting marine debris. In the Futu, the idea of this game can be realized in the form of an AI shark robot. How to play. Choose the color of the modern shark. Green and blue robot are easy level. The green robot collects organic waste such as food waste, as well as fallen wood, twigs, leaves. The blue robot collects cardboard and paper waste. The red robot is medium level. The red robot collects hazardous waste such as batteries, medical waste, cans of insecticide. The yellow robot is hard level. The yellow robot collects plastic waste, glass and cans. Collect the right trash. Add 10 points. Collect the wrong trash. Point will decrease by 5. Be careful of passing sharks. If bitten by a shark, life will be reduced by one. Every time you start this game, there are three lives available for you. You lose if the three lives run out. You win, if you collect all the trash that matches the color of the fish robot. Have a nice play. That's all my presentation. I hope this game likes and useful to the foster for children to love, care for the environment, especially the ocean. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.